All right, welcome everybody to AnyCast. Uh, oh man, this is gonna be the actually the very first video podcast ever. We got Isaiah here. We're gonna be talking about course, Moon Knight. Course. Yeah, man. No, let's let's talk epic. about it, man. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, this episode was mind blowing. It was like horror, a little. Well, I'd say actually thriller. It's a lot of thriller, but. It was crazy, bro. They go to the tomb. They go on this giant expedition. They find this, like, mummy that's mummifying people. Um, And, you know, we get to... Yo, that part, okay. <laughs> A little cut you off, but that part, yo, bro, that thing creeped me out, my G. Yeah. Bro, like, the yeah. way he was, I felt like I was watching a horror movie. Like, I felt so uncomfortable in that yeah. moment. Yeah, and his, like, little sound effect, I was like, oh, no. Yeah, bro, oh, and then when she got pulled into the, oh, man, oh, uh, uh, mm. top tier, top tier, top tier. Oh, yeah, totally, yeah, um, but, man, the wrong some... shirt on. What, oh, it's all good. I got the wrong shirt on. Oh, yeah, well, we gotta do more Batman content soon, but that should, yeah, we'll talk about that at the end. Yeah, but yeah then, we, then you got that thing over there, Marvel Comics. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, Marvel. It's good um, to be placed for this. Um, oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, do you think that Mark actually died? No. Nah. <laughs> this this is this is weird. But to see that Stephen and Mark face to face. Pretty goo, pretty goo. Yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, and I like to. I saw the part with um, the third personality. Like they hint at that because like the third esophagus, you know, in there, and it's like trying to break open, but talked it doesn't. About we talked about this uh, this third personality. Yeah, and his name is supposed to be Jake Lockley. Um, I don't know much about him, but. It'll be cool if we get to see him. But, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah, like, that was crazy. I did not expect that he was going to get shot. I thought they were going to, like, capture him and then, uh, like, take him. Shot him. Yeah, but what happens to Layla? <laughs> man, who knows? All right, I did see a crazy theory online. So, apparently in Egyptian mythology, there's this boat where you can be, like, judged for your sins, essentially. Like, your heart is judged. And that's kind of, like, the focus of the show, you know, because, like, the villain over here is trying to judge them, right? So, this theory is talking about how in episode one, there's a scene where this little girl goes to the museum and straight up asks Stephen, right, Stephen? Wait, yes, Steven. And he, she's like, says something about how he's dead and how, how was, how did it feel when you were judged? And Steven's all like, confused by this, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking to myself, if they are going to take that, that means Steven has been dead the entire time. And that this is all vision is what one theory says. And that he's on this boat waiting to be judged because the scene when he's standing in the hallway and everything's just swaying side to side all consistent that's like totally a boat right so yeah and apparently that yeah. hippo at the end is a goddess who has something about bringing people back to life type of thing so he could be dead mm -hmm. right now and then they could have him become brought back to life in time for episode six or halfway through episode five but like okay so this is my take on what might happen so since mark and steven died what if layla goes and finds Kanchu, and then we get like a, a female moon knight episode it's like um you have you ever seen the movie venom how like I venom took over the Oh, well, Venom took over the girl, and it was like a she-Venom moment. 
like it'd be cool if like Layla goes and releases Kanchu and then Kanchu like makes her Moon Knight and then eventually Steven and Mark come back and you know. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be a little cool thing. Yeah, that could work. That'd be pretty cool. Um Yeah, that'd be a pretty neat episode. I just don't know how they're gonna end this series. Because like they have Me to either, bring bro, this thing is Yeah. They have to hmm? bring Steven and Mark back. But then it's like, okay, let's say that that all happens in episode five. What is the stakes in episode six? Like, is um, Ethan Hawke's character, is he um, going to bring back this goddess already? And she's going to be unleashed into the world or what? Like, it's crazy. I mean, Moon Knight and Khonshu and Amid are definitely going to fight in some avatar battle with Steven and... What's his name? Dang, I forgot his name. Harold? Her- Harold? Her- yeah, Herod. Harold. I forgot. Harrow. 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 I don't know. Harrow, something like that. Whatever it is. Him. Yeah. Him. Him and versus, like, Moon, uh, whatever. Moon Knight versus uh, Midnight or whatever the thing is called. Do you think we could get a moment where we see Mr. Knight and Moon Knight alongside each other since we have Steven and Mark? I doubt it. Them. Like, oh, they'd have to, like, how do you, like, take away your conscious and just put it in the real world? Yeah. I mean, maybe, yeah. maybe some sort of reincarnation or somebody dressed up, but. I doubt it's actually going to be... Because, you know, they're the same person, so, like... Yeah. Unless something happens where they split. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? I was reading a pretty interesting comic yesterday where... Um... Moon Knight... Like... Is that um, Lego Star Wars in the back? Yeah. Yeah. Lego yeah, I got Star Wars... Yeah, the good old days of Lego Star Wars: The Complete hey, yeah. Saga. Bro, I remember when I used to play the Complete Saga. Oh yeah. Ah oh, man, good times. I need to get the Skywalker Saga. It'll bring back so many memories. Yeah, it's it's a really cool game. Yeah. Anyway, bro, that's a, sorry. Um. Oh, it's all good. Um. I was reading this comic yesterday, and then I did a podcast on it about. Um. There's this one where basically Mark is like, I don't need you, Khonshu. And so he leaves Khonshu. And mm-hmm. I think in the next comic after that, he is beat up. He's get he's getting destroyed by the boogeyman, actually. And then he gets mad at the end of the comic because he's like, oh, I've, he's like, why, Khonshu, have you forsaken me? Even though he forsook Khonshu, it's a weird comic run. But it was very interesting because it's like Mark can think for himself and he's like, no, I'm not going to abide by Kashu. Even though here in this show, we see that um, Mark is still trying to stand up for Kashu, even when he's not around. Uh, I got a question. Like, what do you think makes Kashu so interested in Layla to take up as the next avatar? Hmm. I think now because we've now, learned that her father died potentially to Mark, even though Mark said it's not his fault, it could be either Harrow's or Mark's fault, like a younger version of Harrow. Um, and so I think that she's already broken in that sense. So now Kanshu wants her because Kanshu, I guess, targets people that are broken and. Mm-hmm. I was watching a video on this. One of the comic runs it explores has how as a little boy, um, Mark, he, he was like broken and torn. I forgot why, but Khonshu just approached him at like an early age of like seven or so and just was there for him. Um, as kind so of a Khonshu friend. was there before he almost died? That's in the comics. That's in the comics. So... It is a oh. little bit different, but I mean, they do. Run Wait, off so in the comics, 
in the comics, Moon Knight was like this man's best friend since the dawn of time, and that's why he became Moon Knight. Does yeah. he still have like different personalities in the comics? He does, yeah. Um, he does, yeah. yeah he does? The one, the one that I'm reading, he has Mister Knight and Moon Knight, but it's all Mark Specter, which is weird. But then there are other comic lines where they've like, there's this one really famous image. Let me see if I can pull it up right here. I'm gonna try and find this so that I can. Um... Oh, you okay, can Moon... share on this thing. Yeah, you can share screen. <laughs> Not Moon Knight trailer. Um, there's this little comic image. Wait, does it share sound? I wonder. Because I actually just saw a video. All right, let's hope I don't get uh, copyright struck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to find this video from the... Bro, just pull up the image, Den bro. It's not good to risk it. I don't know what the image is, though. Like, where it is. Oh, God. Here, I know it. Okay, let me know this if you can, can hear be. anything. This can be. Oh, nope, I just muted it. I muted it. All right. So this is an ad. A very annoying ad. You got to share first, bro. Yeah, but you I got to find this screen. image so I don't get in trouble by uh, the Spotify or Overlord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where is this? Oh, also this. Oh, here's something about the goddess. So you know how in episode one or maybe maybe it was two. I think it was one. There was like those hippo plushies. That's the same goddess at, like, the museum. So that's pretty sweet. Mm. Also, um, her name is Tawert, I guess. Uh, as a goddess of childbirth. Tawert. Yeah. Tawert goddess was also... Childbirth. Yeah. Tawert was also revered, rev revered as protector of the sun at his rising as she played a role in the rebirth of the dead so that's what she can do uh, i guess tower tower right yes hippo hippo lady okay here it is the very famous comic thing where they talk about mark specter jake lockley here let me Share screen. Let's see. Can you see it? Um, a window. No, Microsoft Edge tab. Share. You could see this, right? Right. It's like saying he regains his health, and we health. see that it's, it's loading. It's oh, it loading. Is. Oh, it is. oh, dang. All right. Well. <clears throat> Um. Oh, there it is. All right. So, it, so that guy's talking about Spectre. The taxi cab guy is Jake Lockley, and then the other has to be Stephen. And then we have Moon Knight. And then, uh, here I'll just read it off. So, oh, we, what just how? Okay, that was weird. Weapon. Like the whole screen just would turn to like a rainbow. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. oh man. That was but weird. you could see it, right? But you could see it, right? Yeah. He acquires was... three new identities. He is still Mark Spector and he's and he becomes Stephen Grant, who's Wall Street Wizardry pre parlays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, Jake Lockley, huh? Yeah, some smart street guy. Um, and together with Marlene and Frenchie, they come to live in Long Island Mansion. Together, they are Moon Knight. So they're all Moon Knight together, continuing the mission. Who in the heck? Who is Marlene and Frenchie? I have no idea. Okay, so that's weird. Yeah, something else, huh? Um, Bro, you learn I'm just gonna you have like day. eight person. I'm just gonna have like eight personalities. 
Yeah. Jeez, that's gonna hurt all the audio. You know, you know the point. You know what this reminds me of? Mm. It's like, you know, Pokemon Eevee. And depending on the stone you give it, depends on what it evolves to. Yeah. Like, I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. Like, you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Well, can you explain, like, what the stone means and all this stuff? Okay, so, like, in Pokemon, right? Yeah. Some Pokemon to evolve require a stone, like a Thunderstone if it's a Thunder type, a Fire Stone if it's a Fire type. So Eevee is a normal type Pokemon, right? Mm-hmm. And depending on the stone you give it, depends on what it evolves into. It's like mm-hmm. if you give it a Thunderstone, it becomes Jolteon, Fire Stone, Flareon, Water Stone, Vaporeon, Leaf Stone, Leafeon, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like depending on what personality he has depends on what moon knight version he turns into so yeah that's what i'm saying saying? yeah yeah that yeah yeah Yeah, that's That's what it's like that's what it reminds me of that's what it reminds me yeah yeah oh man did that scene surprise you when um mark kisses layla i was like oh my gosh what are you doing when Steven kissed Layla, bro, I was laughing, bro. All I did was laugh. Because yeah, Steven. He lit- it was just, yeah, yeah. I just laughed, bro. Because that meant Mark was like, if you could do that, I'm gonna, we're going to throw us off a cliff. <laughs> and then he did it anyway. And I was like, dang. But you know, Layla likes Steven more. Steven took Mark's girl, bro. Yeah. Even though they're the same person, nobody's taking anybody's girl, but. Yeah, it's just, like, the different personality, and I think what she likes more is, like, Mark is an angry man, kind of, who's always, like, we gotta get the job done, rush, and just not get caught. Steven's definitely more of a honesty. Honesty is the best policy. Yeah, and he knows his stuff about Egyptian mythology and all this stuff, which really benefits them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but uh, Stephen Grant, bro, he's a nice guy. Nice guy, you know. Uh, he's honest. He tells the truth. He compliments her. Like you know, he he stole Mark's girl, bro. That's simple. It's like yeah. Mark and Layla are a divorced couple, basically. They already got the papers. They don't like each other. They're always arguing. And then you got Stephen coming into play. You know, I'm just saying which, Steven took took his self's girl. He took his own girl. Yeah, and I'm kind of wondering yeah, here, are they going to, like, destroy um one of, the, one of the personalities so then the other can get an ending? Or like, what's going to go on here? Bro, I don't know what's going to happen. They need to all unite. Into just Mark Spector, because we know that's who it originated as. And yeah. once you got Mark Spector, boom, just do it like that. Oh, yeah. You know what I just realized? Hold up. I'm about to do this. Dude, you can't see my screen, right? Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 No, I can't. All right, good, because they don't need to see my login information. Indeed, nobody needs to okay, see any that... login information. Oh man! <laughs> take a detour. We're about to take a detour in this podcast. All right. You up for this? I don't like the sound of that. Oh no, this is actually going to be fun. Oh, no, oh, it's going to be fun, you say. It's going to be actually really fun. What we're going to do right now is we're going to read a comic book together. We're going to read the very first Moon Knight comic book, and I'm going to screen share this. The whole thing? Like, what is that, yeah. like 25 issues? No, 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 no. Just like the first no, 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 no. issue ever made. 
Oh, okay. I was about to say, bro, yeah, you are cool. tripping if you think I'm gonna read a whole volume <laughs> of a comic. Bro, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this like on Spider Man. There's so many comics out there. Like a lot. No, pull it up, bro. Hold up, I gotta I gotta find our comic first. If the search bar would ever actually work. Moon night. Okay, Moon. so Moon Knight. Moon Knight just oh. got added to Fortnite. Oh man, dude. When I saw that I was like, oh no. And then when I got on I was like Oh they did a good job, I guess. Oh they did a good job, I guess. That is so. sick, bro. It looks sick. It doesn't look bad. Why is this site not loading? I can only compliment the game because there's no building anymore. Well, they're actually... Yeah, there's the building. Bro, Uh, Marvel's having a crossover. Nobody's playing that. (laughs) No. Honestly, the... the, I, I can't do this. Fortnite and Marvel are having a crossover. Oy. I mean, they've been had a crossover, bro. They already got Captain America in the game, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Kate, Bishop, who else? Hulk. Do they got the Hulk? They got the She-Hulk. They got Iron Man, Thor. Yeah. I can't actually pull up a comic right here, though. I'm going to try this one more time, and if this search engine does not work, then it's game over. Bro. Dang, podcast won't have to end early. That's crazy. I know. No. No, that's no, crazy. I could happen. really share a whole... I could share a whole movie on this thing right here. Yeah. I could watch a whole movie on a podcast. Oh, that's crazy. No, what we should do with that. Today at 8 p.m. Oh, gosh. Movie night. Avengers. Avengers. Oh, man. Movie night. You know what we should do? Mm. You down to record a podcast as we watch it and react to it and just give commentary. (laughs) As we see Captain yeah, America but... throw his shield at Age of Ultron. Oh my goodness, that was a hit. Oh, he gets it back. Thor throws his hammer. Oh my goodness, he lightning struck the Ultron. Oh, this is crazy. Loki yeah. steals the reality stone or something like that. Bro, yeah, we got to do that. going to be weird. Bro, that'd be the longest We can't podcast. play the movie because of... We can't play the movie because of copyright reasons, but... I mean, do you have double monitor? Be... Or you can play it on your uh, uh, iPad. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, genius I'm idea. Just saying, we're going to have to... Oh, genius idea. I played on my idea. phone. idea. Or I played in a separate web browser as it does not... Um, it doesn't, like, stream the same audio. And I couldn't find the comic. Um, and I couldn't find the comic. Yeah. I'll read it, though. Hopefully before the show ends, and I'll review it. But now we get to the end of the podcast, which is where me and Isaiah sit here and think about what we're going to do for the next episode for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah. That, that um, does quite happen a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So don't think you're off the hook, bro. Don't think you're off the hook, bro. Tell me, yeah, remember what you said the last any Avengers episode, bro. Don't think it's all. We're gonna do Doctor Strange, and what if? Even though Did you I know? still, I thought, you, I thought we were gonna review Avengers and talk about it. Yeah, we're watching the movie today, so. Yeah, we're watching the movie today. Yeah, and then that'll be our next thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, Multiverse of Madness doesn't come out until like a couple yeah, weeks we from now. Yeah, we don't have to actually worry about reviewing Doctor Strange until, like, the week of that movie. And then, 
Hopefully, indeed. I don't. Indeed, indeed, my friend. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah. 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 Yep. Uh, yep. 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 Mm, yep. 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 Do you know I can actually I can actually do a live stream on here. So live stream. Yeah. That's like nice. people pop their questions into chat type of thing. Ah, that'd be cool. Dude, we should do an Any Avengers panel event. That'd be cool. I think I'm going to do at talk least about one that. Well, Maybe we could just like, just do a podcast where we talk about ourselves or just like just talk about anything. You know what I'm saying? Like regular things, people ask us some funny questions, we answer them. Oh yeah, like, totally. I was actually thinking like we about... should do that with like more than one person. Yeah, I was thinking about for like episode 100, me, you, and Josh can just hop on here and just, and if my brother wants to, but yeah, we can just talk about life type of thing. Bro, you got to do that more on this podcast, man. Talk about like, I don't know, Johnny Depp or something. I, I, I really don't know. Yo, you want to jump Ooh, into Johnny Depp I got right now? some good no 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 if we could do a podcast i got some crazy horror stories you want to hear scary stories, stories of people playing bro listen we record it at like nighttime oh, oh no and i will tell the most horror i will tell the most unnerving stories that i've heard before bro i just watched a movie last night where a man hired two criminals to kidnap his wife for ransom so then he could get money from his wealthy father-in-law and then this guy one of the criminals at the end kills his wife and then chops the his assailant and then puts him in a wood chipper i am ready for scary stories buddy that was oh gosh yeah that was scary <laughs> That's a good movie. You you should watch uh, I've it. Seen like scary. Put a, I've seen a guy put a shotgun to his head and blow it off. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I've seen a lot of dark stuff in the internet. You know, it's the internet. Anyway, besides yeah, that. Um, that's illegal. Yeah, bro, I got, I, got some, I got some horror stories, man. I got some horror stories. Yeah, I got to make a scary story. I tried once, and I'm like... How do you or make like, this? Or like scary games and like how to play them and like what they do. Well, are you going to sit here and tell me how to play FNAF? <laughs> hey, man. What is that supposed to mean? It, it's just like... It's just like... I don't... I haven't played FNAF because I can't. Bro, are you are you hating on FNAF? Bro, nah, you're telling nah, chill, me... Because I'm somebody... I'm somebody who pridefully owns every single FNAF game. Bro. VR, PlayStation, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on PC, bro. Wait, 7, 8? Listen. I don't know. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, Sister Location, Pizzeria Simulator.